Chef Buff Army, my zealous army, today is going to be a reflection video. Now that Oprah shit, you know, I've kind of been inspired by guys like Eric Cressy and Jim Wendler where they'll review the previous year and find out what they did right and what they did wrong and perhaps use those lessons that they learned in that future year. So in today's video, I'm going to reflect on 2012. Some things that I learned that I'm going to carry forward with me in 2013. Hopefully, you can learn a thing or two along the way as I did. The first thing I learned, among many things, was that goals are merely good guidelines and you have to tweak them along the way. Case in point, I set a deadlift goal last year, right, for 520 pounds to complete it in April 2013 and already in October of last year, I did 545 pounds. So I smashed it. I got to reevaluate that goal. I got to tweak it. So sometimes we undershoot our goals. We fail to achieve them. That's why you can't be a slave to your goal. You know, if you want to get to 7% body fat, but it's just not happening, your nutrition is not there, your exercise isn't dialed in, you're not focused enough, you got to abandon that goal, reevaluate what you want to do, and tweak it from there. Never be afraid to change. Don't be chained to your goals. That's what I learned. What I learned in 2012? Don't fart in a public room. The bigger the bicep, the smarter the bro. And three, no, if she says it means no. Trust me on that. Two, assistance work is important, okay? What I'm talking about, if you want to increase your big lifts, if you want to build more size, you got to be smart when it comes to your assistance exercises. I want to talk once again about my deadlift, or let's talk about the bench press. People like the bench press, right? How I increased my bench press last year was focusing on smart assistance work for myself. So the floor press to work on that dead stop, that drive from the bottom position, I needed to work on it. The floor press was a great choice for myself. As well, my triceps aesthetically, you can see that they're a lot smaller than my chest, but also from a strength standpoint, they're weaker. So by me doing a lot more close grip bench press and half rack press, it greatly increased my bench press. So smarter assistance work choices for me, for what works for me, really helped me out both in terms of strength and size. And some of these lessons are lessons that I relearned because I was too thick in the head to remember them. Case in point, the more you exercise, the more time you have to take to recover. So the more hours you have to sleep, uh, you know, Epsom salt bath, stretch, foam rolling, the more mobility work you have to do because working out is a stress on the body. You're banging yourself up, but you gotta take time to recover. You gotta take time to do mobility work. So I was working out more, but I was doing the same amount of recovery, same hours of sleep, uh, same you know amount of mobility, and I started getting a little tight in certain areas, you know, on my squat and so forth. It was only when I you know, relearned the idea that as I exercise more, I gotta take more time for all the other things that everything fell into place. It's about balance. So if you exercise more, you gotta do more mobility work. Number four, getting fat is just an excuse. It's an excuse to the lazy. There's no reason while bulking to get fat. I would call the last year a great success because I managed uh, from April 2012 when I started to January to put on about eight pounds of solid size. You know, my body fat has remained relatively the same. My strength has really increased. I put on a lot of lean muscle while maintaining my body fat. I did this by exercising a whole lot, being smart about my nutrition and just being consistent about this over a long period of time, over the last seven months. So if you need a reminder that turning in a slopopotamus is not conducive towards your goals, here it is. Getting fat, bro, just ain't cool. Five, lastly, if your progress is stalled and your exercise is good, take a look at your macronutrients and consider counting your macros. You perhaps aren't eating enough. It happened to me a period last year near the end of the year near October where you know I was gaining weight for a period of time and all of a sudden it stalled I actually started tracking my calories for a brief period and I saw that for my exercise amount that I was doing the activity amount that I was actually under eating so I increased my calories and then I started gaining lean mass again so if you ever doubt that perhaps you're not gaining enough size or you're stalled you're not making progress take a look at the calories and track them to find out your numbers sounds simple but I needed that reminder. Real advice, real simple advice, things I learned in 2012 that I'm going to make sure I carry forward with me in 2013. I want to hear from my subscribers. What have you guys learned last year? Post in the comment section below. Help out the army. And thank you as always for watching my videos. If you enjoyed it, 
you should like the video. If you're not a subscriber, the fuck you waiting for? It's a smart idea. Chef Buff Army, my zealous army, I'll be seeing all you guys in the next video. Peace.